No one has ever cycled between the UK and France. Until now, when a unique collaboration between Jaguar, Eurotunnel and Team Sky came together for one incredible day to make history. This is the story of that day. No man has ever cycled from England to France. The Channel Tunnel has now been here for 20 years and we managed to get permission from Eurotunnel for Chris Froome, the current winner of the Tour de France, and who rides for Britain to cycle to France through the service tunnel, which is a, a small tunnel that sits between the two train tracks. This might be a major filming operation, but that doesn't mean that business stops here at Eurotunnel. And one of the challenges with filming is working around the traffic. We're living and working in an environment that relies on precise timing for everything and also security considerations. So if something happens whilst we're filming, we could get kicked off what is to us our set, but it's to Eurotunnel, their operation. If something happens, we're out of here. Team Sky aren't only supplying the bikes for this event, they're also supplying the rider. None other than Tour de France winner Chris Froome who's been flown in specially. It's a, it is a pretty pretty cool feeling to be the first first one to be able to have the opportunity to at least ride through the tunnel. I mean, obviously, it's all kinds of records about people swimming it, sailing it, but um, to be the, the first one through through on a bike, that's, that's pretty cool. Timing is absolutely crucial on a shoot like this. We've got Team Sky down here, all of the bikes, Chris Froome, and a massive crew. But one thing that isn't going to wait for anybody is this train. It's one take and one take only. They've got to get it right. Okay, hold on. So the whole idea is that uh, Chris is with his cycling team, his support team in a convoy of three Jaguars. They arrive at the Euro Tunnel, they pull onto the platform, and Chris takes his bike off the roof and splits from his team and heads off to the service tunnel while the Jaguar team go onto the carriages and take the normal route for all traffic. We've got our window with Chris where we've got a, a few hours where we are getting all our stop starting shots, going for our, our lovely little kind of cinematic moments. Uh, and then we've had our sort of uh, mini cams uh, who have been setting up other sort of uh, close up shots. Uh, and we're doing all that just so that Chris has got a perfect window of opportunity, unhindered, just to be able to go from start to finish. Unreal. Oh, it's been a, a long time planning with various parties involved, whether it be Jaguar, Team Sky, and also Eurotunnel. So it's, it's really special to finally complete it. But to see Chris ride through the tunnel, and, and he didn't hold back. He was, you know, going 60, 65 k an hour at some point. So, you know, he's a bit nervous, but yeah, he, he's a he's a professional. Moments ago, Chris Froome crossed this very spot blasting out of the Euro Tunnel on the French side, having come from the UK side to set a world first. The first man ever to cycle from the UK to France. <laughs> 